Hello Slampi and welcome to our English news edition brought to you on live by RTD channel. Here are the top stories. After renovation work, the center of emergencies alas opened its door. Mali United Nations. The United Nations announcement soon a rapid intervention force in the center of the country. That was the headlines and now to the national news. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Smadou Margilla will take part on invitation of the King Salman bin Abdulaziz to the work of the summit of Arab Muslim Americans who will be held next Sunday in Riyadh, capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is a summit dedicated to the reaffirmation of the privileged link that exists between the Arab and the Muslim world and also the United Nations of America. In addition to its vocation to highlight the perfect harmony of complementarity that the Arab Muslim community is able to train with the other cultural and confessional components of this world, and this summit will especially remove the ambiguities between Islam, the religion of peace, and also tolerance and the extremist groups that are of no faith and no ethics. And this summit increases its importance through the fact that it serves as a theater in the first mission of work and also of the new American president Donald Trump abroad. It will also be a discussion aimed to endorse a new dynamic and relation between the Arab Muslims and also the new American administration. In addition to the active cooperation that the United States and the United States, uh, I mean uh, United Arab Muslims have always maintained in the political, economic and diplomatic area, the two orders also observed these last year's strategic partnership in the field of security and defense. The privileged collaboration between Djibouti and the United States in the military field has value of perfect illustration of the strategic partnership between the United States and Muslim Arab countries in the field of the fights against terrorism. During the last three decades, the Arab education in Djibouti has experienced a poor development thanks to the school private Arabs who wrote to the publish and teach the language of the Quran. Jewishian are trying to learn this language which is considered as one of the languages the richest in the world even, uh, even today this language has become one of the most used language on the national territory. Among the most important Arab scholars who have played a major role in the promotion of this language there is uh, the the school said uh, in 1990, the duration of this school has decided to open a new branches in the neighborhoods of Hayabli and Sheikh Musa of the commune of Palbala. In 2008, the school said it obsolately has it is new headquarters located in the district of Umbuli, which was built thanks to the support of the Benevoc Tourists of Djibouti and APRO, according to the director of an a school current. Still on the national news, after intense work of renovation and expansion of the medical center of emergency, alas, the Prime Minister, His Excellency Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, has conducted this morning to its inauguration. And upon his arrival, the Prime Minister was welcomed by the Division General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, as well as the many officers of the Armed Forces. And after the review of the troops and honors, the Prime Minister, His Excellency uh, Abdul Qadir Kamal Mohammed, and the Division General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, in the presence of the Director General of the Health Services of the Armed Forces, have proceeded to the cutting of the ribbon marking the official opening of the Medical Center of Emergency Alas completely renewed and also enlarged. Also participated in the ceremony the President of the National Assembly, Mr. Mohamed Ali Ahmed, the Director of the National Security, Mr. Hassan Said Khere, and also Ms. the Mayor of the City of Djibouti, uh, Ms. Fatouma Mohamed Awale, the Director of the National Police by Acting, Colonel Abdurrahman, and also the director of the civil protection, Colonel Mahmoud, as well as the many officers, doctors and technicians of the health services of the armed forces. In his speech on this occasion, the director general of the health services of the armed forces, the doctor Colonel Ahmed Hassan Bulala held to clarify the work carried out on the center and the main objective of this renovation. 
He said the Army Hills Central Service Director in his intervention did not fail to remain the original structure is created in 2002 in order to occupy the armed forces of a medical pole to be able to take in the care of the military outside the hours and holidays. The strong attendance of patients and the smallness of the existing infrastructure have had because the quality of the services provided. Consequently, the command took note and decided the rehabilitation of the structure of origin the construction of new premises and also the reorganization of the operation of the center. This renovated center and brand new is manifested by the concentration on the same set of several services involving the techniques, the more innovative, which will ensure a better delivery. The General Secretary Sheikh Ibrahim Shir of the General Steve of the Army Force has waited with respect to him in his speech urged the personnel of the health service of the Army's Force and particularly those from the Center of Health to more rigor and availability for quality. Mr. The Prime Minister, it's for us a pleasure and a special honor to welcome you here to Health before starting my remarks. I ask you a minute of silence for the reading of a Fatiha. To the memory of the fire and Abubakar Ibrahim Halas, date in the hand of honor in 1999, which is this door center, the name since it is creation, the fail of health as one of our priorities. We had decided in recent years to make a very effort to improve our health care system. There is yours and the health of this. Our first military hospital opened its door under the auspice of His Excellency the President of the Republic, the head of the government and the Supreme Chief of the Arms. And the Prime Minister then crisscrossed the various premises of the Medical Center of Emergency Halas and listened to the explanation on the working of these various parties. In particular, it has he has visited the Center for the Observation of the Sick of a Dozen Beds. The Prime Minister, His Excellency Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, has appreciated the Center where the sick, the more serious, such as cardiac arrest and also the major injury on the road can be admired. The medical center Halas is furthermore occupied with radiology and laboratory as well as the pharmacy for the drug of first necessity for inside treatment of the sick. The Prime Minister was able to see all these facilities blazing new the medical center of emergency Halas. At the end of the visit, he has not felt to urge the leadership of the health services of the armed forces and that of Halas particularly to take care of these facilities. And he pointed out that the population of Djibouti has greatly need this kind of center, completely functional and also autonomous in the offer of the care he is led to give. Finally, he congratulated the military command and the personnel who have carried out this extensive work with Brio. After the committee of Asela Bakere uh, of uh, Yobuki and uh, Senkal Dora, respectively, the mini medical team of the Department of Health has implemented the decay of a locality of Hol Hol yesterday morning. Not any time that the medical team of the Department of the Health have left the capital by the overlain roads with the vehicle of the Ministry of Health. The delegate have been welcomed by the prefect of the region, Mohammed Wapiri Asawe Panuita, and the president of the regional council. The minister of health, Jama El Mokia, was accompanied on this trial by the secretary of state in social like case, Madame Muna Usman Eden of the ministry of justice, Mumin Ahmed, chair of the state of the work bank. To its, to its arrival on site, the delegation led by the Minister of Health, Dr. Jamal Mokie, has been armly welcomed. A full dance has been carried out under thanks. 
the atmosphere was first fit particularly to St. Gall. And now subsequently the Minister of Health has proceeded to the restoration of food aid and of drugs. It is in particular mosquito nets impregnated product of nitrate use for children of food and many families have received this aid. The Minister of Health and his delegation have then visited the various places of consultation and follow medical. The care offered to the population of Hol Hol are the general <coughs> medicine, pneumology, gynecology, ophthalmology and also pediatric and finally the consultation of children of children of course the minister of health and his delegation were then uh, under the showdown of ant an interview with the occult as well as a meeting with the representative of women of Hall Hall. the minister of health and the responsible administrative steve have listened to the she to the grievance of the occult and women the health minister has promised to bring answer to the needs of its interlocutor at the earliest possible date and in the shortest possible time during in his speech, the Minister of Health of Dr. Jamil Mokie has urged the Ogals of his locality of as well benefit this current medical. The doctor that you see here are his movement to cancel you, given the quality of health care and free to the close his intervention. As the result of the meeting, the occurs and women have not felt to warmly thank the Minister of Health who cares about the health of the citizen. And still on the national news, the Commission of Finance and Plan of the National Assembly met on Tuesday, 18 May 2017, in the room of the Commission of the National Assembly, chaired by Charmaki uh, Musa Ari, the order of the day. By Charmaki Musari, the order of the day of the meeting was on the review of the draft law and the amendment of the general tax code. And the government was represented by the Minister of the Budget, His Excellency Bode Ahmed Robley. This bill has for objective of alleviating some of the provision tax of the general tax code, which remains unsuitable for our economy, and this despite the progress achieved in recent years. Actually, the Republic of Djibouti must be modern in the challenges of a regional economy more and more competitive by organizing what economists call the economy of the contribution. And the major concern of the government being to fight effectively against the unemployment of young people, especially in the region of the interior, and knowing that the public sector cannot absorb all the applications. This measure will allow to encourage youngs to engage in the private entrepreneurship. And without forgetting, it is undeniable to recall that these objectives are the result of the National Foundation of the Taxation, which was held in June 2015. Indeed, the improvement of the business climate in Djibouti requires a profound reform of the tax system, and the policy of the government must allow the creation of jobs by the companies. It is a central point of the policy of the state and the exceptional growth of businesses that will contribute significantly to the economic development of our country, as well the reform of the various provisions of the general tax codes provided in the bill introduce a tax device attractive for the creation of a small and medium-sized enterprise, therefore it is. On the second day of, this, uh, of his visit uh, to France, uh, the Minister of Muslim Affairs and Culture, uh, Mumin Hassan Pori, met uh, yesterday with the, administ the administrator of the International Organization of the Francophonie, Minister uh, Adam uh, when This interview was held at the at headquarters of the OFE to Paris in the presence of the ambassador of Djibouti to the OFE. Ayad Moussa Yahya, the Minister of Culture, is maintained with the, the administrators of the OFE. This visit falls within the framework of monitoring of the projects maintained by the Minister of Culture to the Secretary General of the OFE, Mme. Michelle Jen, during its visit to Djibouti in last February. In this perspective, the discussion with the, the administrators have focused in particular on ways and means of further consolidating the partnership evolution between the Ministry in charge of culture and the OFE and support for the implementation of major projects to strengthen the 
uh, and shortage of the culture in the national development according to the vision adopted by the President of the Republic, uh, Mr. Osmar Mugili. The uh, Minister of Mumin Mr. Mumin Hassan Pore noted that the promotion of the culture and artistic action figure among the priority of the Department of Culture. To do this, the uh, Department will put in its place the Center for Reading and Cultural Animation thanks to the material and technical support of UEFI. This uh, center are of a great importance for the development of the various activities of cultural animation in our country as well. It has been a great day as accelerating the process of the implementation of the class in Chabuti. That's it for tonight's edition. Thanks for watching us and have a wonderful evening.